Zoom has now upgraded to Zoom Workplace. And to be honest, there's not that much different, but some of the controls have moved. Hi, Taylor here, Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and then click on the bell to get notified every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been posted. And for one-to-one -one training or just to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. So the Zoom workplace, the first thing you notice is that the controls just have a different graphic look. Uh, the design has changed slightly. And one of the biggest changes is that the security button now will say host tools. And so the look of that actual security uh, icon isn't too much different, but instead of saying security, it now says host tools. And within your host tools, that's where you can see you can lock the meeting like before and allow participants to do things or not do things. Um, under more, that's where you're gonna find a majority of your controls, whether you need to uh, live broadcast to Facebook Live or YouTube, or if you are doing the breakout rooms or launching any polls, it appears that they're almost trying to uh, change up the items they want to recommend to you on the dashboard, on the toolbar there, uh, and then hide all those other tools under more. So what are some of those tools that they are really highlighting? As you can see, AI is taking over everything and there's this AI companion where you can start summaries and you can basically ask it to take notes for you and to uh, you know keep track of the, the meeting analytics. Um, then we also have apps. So you can include different apps like a timer. Let's say you wanted to uh, have only one minute for everyone in the room to do an activity. You can have a timer that's gonna be visually shown. There's tons of apps on there. And before you used to have to go to the desktop version of Zoom to access these apps. Well, now Zoom Workplace even has it when you launch it from the online platform. The other thing that is different is the view. So on the top right hand corner, there is also a multi speaker view. And so if there's multiple people speaking that you want to highlight. That is what is being suggested to click on now. Um, the immersive, we can also make it look like we are completely, um, you know, in a different room together. Maybe we're all watching a movie theater together and I'm just there in the theater. I know that Microsoft Teams has done this and now it looks like Zoom is trying to implement that as well. Um, other features here that we're seeing here, let's go ahead and just leave that view right now. <laughs> um, and so we could change the theme. So right here we got our classic. Let's together see what Bloom is. It looks like we are blue. I might be sticking with Bloom since it seems to match my brand pretty nicely. Uh, we also have Agave. Goes for the green hue, that makes sense. And Rose. And so it just allows you to personalize the look of your Zoom a bit more. And then we can even what, set meeting wallpaper. Let's see what this is all about. There we go. So in those borders, if we want to even have an additional wallpaper, we can do that. So that is some interesting updates. I feel the only ones that really need to be focused are the replacement of some of our key tools and the views, but some of the stuff is nice and fun to add. So what do you think of the new updates in Zoom? If you ever need assistance on having a smooth, operated virtual event, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'd love to be your facilitators launching your media, launching your breakout rooms and making sure that your events stay on time and that all your attendees feel engaged. Once again, I am Taylor Wellman. Love to hear your feedback on Zoom Workplace and see you in the next video.